Hey guys, CZ back with another video and today's video is going to be a career chat. time watching me or my channel this is a little different for my channel so if you like things like this please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if it's your first time watching subscribing letting me know down below in the comment section so I can do more of these videos I've been asked questions about my career over and over and over again and so I thought this was a great platform to sit down and kind of talk to you guys about that so today I'm gonna talk to you about my career how I got here kind of what I do and then if you guys want to see other other videos um, related to the topic then just let me know so for those of you who don't know I work in human resources I am a human resources manager for a fairly large company here in Cleveland and I have been in human resources since 2014 so wow it's been about six years now and um, I feel like I moved up pretty quickly I, I I've always been like that I've always been super ambitious and and I feel like I, I've kind of moved up through the ladders and through the ranks pretty quickly in position and in salary which has been a blessing for me and I plan on continuing to move forward I love human resources I really love what I do and so um, yeah I'm, I'm excited to share this stuff with you guys I have an MBA which is a master's in business administration and my concentration was in human resources management for my undergrad I do have a communications and interpersonal communications degree which is a Bachelor of Arts um, to be quite honest that degree is worth nothing I'm just paying on it still right now with my student loans but that's a chat for another day okay <laughs> so um, my MBA I feel like is what really helped me and kind of launched me um, into my career after college, after undergrad, after I got that communications degree, I was really lost. I had no idea where, what I was going to do. Um, and I landed a job as a manager for a paint company, a store manager for a paint company. I was in their management training program. I managed a paint store for about two and a half years. Yeah, about two and a half years. It was with a really great company. And so my plan was to work in the stores and then get to corporate and hopefully be able to feel around with what I wanted to do. I feel like everyone when they graduate college, like if you're a business major, so many people want to go into marketing. And that was kind of my focus in my career track, like, oh, I'd love to get into their marketing department. So once I was able to get myself out of the stores and into the corporate office, I got into a customer service position where basically I was servicing the stores and placing like their stock orders for the week and stuff like that. I worked my way through the customer service department. I had I held three positions in the customer service service department within two years and kind of just worked my way up and then a human resources position came open by this time I had started my MBA and I was leaning towards human resources I had a cousin and also like a family friend who worked in human resources and I had never even like spoken to them in person about this but they were always kind of talking about their jobs on Facebook and how much they loved their jobs one worked for Victoria's Secret and I think one worked for a bank at the time and they were just very successful and kind of working their way through the company and literally I was following them without them even knowing through Facebook and following their journey because they would share a lot of their stories and kind of what they were doing and all of that I did I had very limited knowledge of human resources and what exactly we did which a lot of people do but at that time I just I was like hmm this seems interesting and literally that human resources position came open and I was like why don't I give it a try and the more I kind of researched and read up on it the more I felt like I would like it so I interviewed for a human resources generalist position now something about HR is it all depends on what company you go to as far as what the positions will do so for some companies a human resources generalist is it's like your entry level basic human resources position for this company that I was in it was more of like your second or third step in HR so I interviewed for a human resources uh, generalist position the lady goes look I really like you but you don't have any HR experience why don't you wait for a coordinator position and I was like okay I guess so 
um, a coordinator position actually came open. Actually, two of them came open um, at the same time. And so I applied for both. I got both. I chose whichever department I wanted to be in. And so I got my foot in the door. A lot of people out here say it's, it's really hard to get your foot in the door with HR. And I feel like you just have to... I don't know. I feel like it's easier now than it was then. There are so many other HR, like entry level HR positions open that I see all the time that would make it easy to get your foot in the door. You're not going to walk in the door as an HR manager if you don't have any HR experience, even if you have management experience. If you don't have any HR experience, you're not just going to walk in the door as an HR manager. There's so much for you to learn. There's so many laws that change all the time that you need to be aware of to make sure that you're not putting the company or yourself personally or a manager um, at risk. So moving along, I took this um, coordinator position and I worked that for almost two years and I just really felt like I wasn't going anywhere and I was just kind of bored with the position. So I applied for an HR manager position at another company, actually at a college, uh, a university um, here in Cleveland and I got that job. and. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was. I only worked that job for six months because it just, I felt like they, I felt like they didn't tell the full truth as far as what I would be doing. I almost felt like a call center manager more than a human resources manager. So I worked that for six months and got that title on my resume, that HR manager title. And then I was able to transition into my previous position to the one I'm in now. And I worked for a casino. That probably was the most fun position I've ever had. My team was amazing. I had a team of 13 people, which I only had a team of one previous to that, but I had a team of 13 people. And um, I mean, it was just the most awesome team I've ever worked with. And just some really great people that I still talk to today. And um, now, this is where I really started understanding what human resources does because I did everything from employee engagement events to benefits, making sure people got paid right through our HRIS system to, um, of course, employee relations and all of that stuff. Like human resources is not just a one track field. Most people think HR, you hire, you fire, you pay people. And to be quite honest, I don't do any of those things. I, I will hire people from people for my personal team and if I have to um, let go or discipline someone from my personal team, then I'll do that. But for everyone else on the property, they hire, fire, discipline their own people. They will come to human resources, which you should every single time. They'll come to human resources for guidance. And so I will guide them through that process because a lot of people are just uncomfortable with terminating an employee or, um, disciplining an employee a lot of managers are just uncomfortable with that so they will come to to human resources which i always recommend for guidance before they do anything we make sure they're following policy and procedure and everything will go smoothly so that happens but personally i don't do it myself in my position i'm in right now i don't have a team anymore which I'm thankful for as much as I love those people. I'm thankful to not have to worry about other people on my team. I really just worry about myself and I'm good. So that's, yeah, I don't have to do any of that stuff because those other departments have managers and department heads that will do the disciplining, the hiring, the firing, all of that stuff for them. And then the company I'm at now, we also have a payroll department. So I don't even touch pay. I just send off an email and uh, let them know what's going on and they fix it. But anyway, I worked at the casino for about two and a half years. Another amazing experience. I learned so much. And so now I was able to transition to my current position, which I've been in for about a year where I am a human resources manager for a pretty large company. And I have just been learning so, so much. It's funny because it's a different speed from what I was working with before. Like before I was working with more hourly employees. And so that brings its own set of challenges. We also had unions in the mix. So that brings its own set of challenges. But um, for this position, I strictly work with salaried corporate employees. So there's no unions and um, the, the employee base is just a lot different. Why did I choose HR? I already kind of explained that. It was really, I kind of fell into it. I saw some people talking about it on Facebook and I was like, hey, why don't I try that? And that's what I did and I ended up loving it. So that's kind of my story. <laughs> 
So in this video, I also want to share five tips for actually breaking into HR. And if you're thinking about going into that career track, what really should you be focused on? So tip number one, I already kind of touched on it, which was don't be afraid to start at the bottom. You're not gonna walk into an HR manager or director position like I already said. So what you need to do is make sure that you're starting from the bottom and you're learning everything that you need to learn. Like seriously, it's not a game. A manager can be held personally liable for some of their actions in a workplace, in including an HR manager. You can be held personally liable for some of your actions in a workplace, depending on what it is. And also, of course, the company. As a human resources person, you are, you're that bridge between the company and the employee. You're trying to make sure the company is still able to thrive and make money while also making sure that their biggest asset, which are the employees, are happy and, you know, moving the train along. The company doesn't make money if the employees aren't doing what they're supposed to do. And that's just fact. So a HR is that middle ground that makes sure that everything continues to run smoothly. So if you don't know the basics, then you're already running an uphill battle and you're just putting your company at risk. Tip number two is I would also encourage you to connect with someone in the HR field. This is something that I did not do. Again, I, I just kind of took someone's word for it on Facebook and it kind of worked out. But I would encourage you to connect with someone in that field, and this is with any field, and just kind of pick their brain. Talk to them about what they like, what they don't like. There's also different tracks with human resources. You can be in training, you can be in employee relations, you can be in recruitment, you can be in so many different avenues. And so it's it's very important that you're talking to people, that you're picking their brain, and you're seeing what you like and what you don't like. Because trust me, there are things that I'm just like, I would never wanna do that full time, like comp. I would never want to do compensation full time like that's just not for me. Um, so there's things that I know that I just wouldn't want to do. And then there's things in human resources that I like more that I know if I do ever get into a more specialized role that I would probably like and thrive. You also want to just make sure it's right for you. Some of the some of the personal conversations that we have to have with employees are that sometimes they can be very, very uncomfortable. I've had to tell an employee that they smell like they physically smell and their teammates can smell it. And it's an issue in their department. I've had to tell an employee things like that. I've had to terminate people that I personally have known since childhood. And so it's, it's sometimes you have to have those super uncomfortable conversations, but I mean, it's your job and it's what needs to be done. So make sure you're up for that if this is something that you're thinking about. It's also good to get certified. So not only do I have my MBA with a concentration in human resources management, but I also have my PHR, which is my professional and human resources certification. And I will be going for my SPHR probably pretty soon as soon as I feel like paying for the test, cause the test is like $400, but um, I will be going for my SPHR pretty soon, but get certified. It's just another notch under your belt, another thing on your resume that sets you apart from the crowd when you are applying for positions. The fourth tip I have is to join a professional organization. When you join a professional organization, you network and meet so many people. So there is SHRM, the Society for Human Resources Management, and then there's also always little conferences and things going on. So I would just double check in your city, Google, HR conferences and you, you're always going to find people at those conferences that are good to network with. And not only is networking good just in case you have a question, but if you ever apply for a job and you know that person works there, maybe they can put in a good word for you. I mean, um, knowing someone in a position is so much better than everything I just said, than having certifications, than having the, the education and the degrees, than having experience. If you know someone, in that company that, especially if they have some pull, honey, that is what you need. So make sure you're networking and just really getting your name out there in the industry. The last tip that I have is don't be afraid to switch companies if need be. When I, every time I feel stuck, if I feel like I'm just not going anywhere and I just, when I just feel stuck, sometimes you get to that feeling where you're like, I just don't feel like this company appreciates me. I don't feel like 
I feel like I've hit the end of the road with this company. It is okay to switch companies and go somewhere else, start somewhere fresh, start somewhere new. Sometimes, a lot of times, companies are looking for fresh eyes to come in and look at their organization and, you know, put hands on it and kind of move some things around and shake some things up. And then sometimes you just need to get out of your comfort zone and out of where you are so you can become those fresh eyes. So it's very important that if you do feel Feel stuck if you do feel like you're just not moving forward and your career isn't progressing as you would like make a change that is totally okay my parents can't understand how I've changed jobs so many times in my short career and I'm like look I have to sell my time anyway okay I have to go to work the least that I can do is figure out what works best for me most companies don't have pensions anymore so there's no real advantage to staying at a company for 25 years i mean just make sure you're putting your money in your 401k and you're saving on your own as far as retirement goes and you're fine uh, i mean there's there's no real advantage to staying at a company for 30 years for, for what what are you doing that for so get out move around and 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 just make yourself happy when it comes to your career so that is it you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you if you want other career videos or other career topics please let me know down below and i can certainly do more of these this was a really cool video to make i love talking about my career and um just my industry because i love it so much i love what i do and i'm just i get really excited and passionate when talking about it so let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this and i can certainly do them I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.